Leon Springer. I'm one of the owners of Dripworks and Dripworks.com. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a drip irrigation kit. The kit we're going to set up today is going to be the Garden Bed Drip Irrigation Kit. The Garden Bed Drip Irrigation Kit is made available in three different sizes to meet your system's needs. Today we will be setting up our economy kit inside of the Dripworks demonstration garden. The first thing we're going to do is take the filter out of the box. We're going to make sure that the washer is in place and then we're going to take the swivel end of the filter and thread it onto the faucet. Next we're going to take the pressure regulator. We're also going to make sure that the washer is in place and we're going to thread it onto the filter. And lastly for our assembly here, we're going to take the Easy Lock female hose fitting which connects the regulator onto the main line tubing. Our next step in this process is taking the main line tubing and cutting the tape off of it, we're going to run the main line tubing onto the first bed that we have to set up. And we'll put it on the Easy Lock female hose fitting, push it as far as you can, and then we're going to tighten the Easy Lock fitting over the tubing. And it's done. You should not be able to pull it off with your hand. The garden bed kit comes with U-shaped hold downs. These U-shaped hold downs will keep your half inch main line in place. Now I'm going to cut the end of the main line tubing and using a figure eight end I'm going to slide it over the tubing, bend the tubing, and slide the figure eight end back over that tubing which will cut off the flow of water. Now we're ready to set up our first bed. Each kit includes several easy lock fittings to assist in laying out the main line tubing. The size, type, and quantity of fittings vary with the size of the kit. Next I'm going to take the punch that comes with the kit and punch a hole in the tubing. Each kit comes with a punch that is tailored to the size of the kit. The punch we are using today is the key punch, available in our economy kit. I'm then going to take the quarter inch transfer barb and insert it in the end of the quarter inch tubing. Next we take the tubing and insert it into the hole that we have just punched. Run it up the side of the bed till we get to the top and then cut the quarter inch tubing. I'm then going to take a quarter inch elbow fitting, 90 degree fitting, I'm going to insert it into that solid quarter inch tubing. Next I'm going to take the soaker drip line and connect it to the quarter inch elbow. You just wiggle the tubing back and forth onto the fitting and unroll the tubing down the length of the bed. When I get to the far end of the bed, I'm going to cut the soaker drip line and using the three inch hold downs, secure it down in place. Be sure not to cut the soaker drip line too close to the emitter. Next I'm going to close off the end with a goof plug. Simply take the goof plug, it has a large side and a small side, and with the smaller side, insert it into the soaker drip line. And now I will begin to secure down the end of the roll, and every two or three feet, I'll put another three inch hole down. 
Now I'll be able to set up the rest of the bed. Let's turn the water on and see how our bed's doing. <laughs> 